Coming up next, General Hospital's Nancy Lee Grand reveals why she's been getting advice from a five-year-old. And still to come... Our first guest has made a career out of playing smart, independent, and very complicated women. First, she was Santa Barbara's Julia Wainwright, and now she's General Hospital's Alexis Davis. And through it all, she remains one of the most respected and popular actresses in daytime. Take a look. Where's your compassion? For God's sake, where's your humanity? How are you going to be able to live with yourself knowing that you could have saved her life and you didn't? I, I want you to look at her because I can't make you induce labor, but I can by God make you see the price of your selfishness because it's easy to ignore death when it's not staring you in the face when it's down the hall in some corridor when it's somebody else's child i want you to look at my daughter okay i want you to tell me what you've done i will induce my labor for you okay oh 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 my baby my baby please welcome back the emmy winning Great to see you. Nice to see you. Welcome. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. Wow, that was emotional. That's just intense. a little bit, huh? Jeez. Wow. Well, you know, you can just get it all out there and get paid. It's all in the taste work. I mean, you've been doing a lot of emotional stuff all year long, though. Yeah. It's got to get tough to play after a while, though, no? I mean, day in, day out, every day. You know, life's stressful, and we have to behave appropriately in real life. So when you get to, like, have a fit on television, it's kind of a, a relief uh, yeah. and a release. So, and it's also the circumstances where, you know, when you're dealing with storylines with children, and yeah. it's not that hard to imagine what that would feel like, and yeah. that would be... Uh, Painful. Well, congratulations. You just had your third Emmy nomination as a lead actress in a row. Fifth all together, yeah. but third in a row third is an amazing feat. It's very, it's, you There's know some what? talented it women is... in daytime, so three in a row is an what amazing feat. What a great group of broads in this. We all had lunch at, uh, oh my God, I forgot the name of the place. The, uh, it was lovely. Oh, this we is the luncheon where, where all, all the lead actresses the... oh, there, oh, there you guys oh, are, yeah. Here we are. It was such a joy and so much fun. Yeah. Now, have you always wanted to be on a soap opera? I didn't think about it. I, you know, I mean, I used to watch General Hospital. As, As a kid? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, really? I was, in fact, there was some, when, my younger sister, Wendy, has this picture of Tony with his big apple. Somehow we were in L.A. <laughs> oh, and she yeah. got her picture taken and thought we were all, oh, my God, this is so cool. We were all watching and I was thinking it would be cool to work with Tony. I used to imagine that. But I didn't picture my, I, I didn't know where you know, where, how my career would be navigated, but it just sort of found me. I didn't go looking for it, but what a, what a fine place to be, you know. And you've been there it's, 10 years now? I've, I've been in GH nine years. I was on oh, yes. Santa Barbara for eight, so look at the longevity we yeah. all get. Yeah. You know, you get a no hit question. show on primetime, the longest it lasts is 10 years. So yeah. That's right, you know, and that you is, get... you know. The Simpsons, that's if you're a cartoon. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Let's talk about the chemistry They're you have funny. with Rick Hurst. I mean, Isn't just pops. Really? Yeah, we love him. He's so cute. Yeah, yeah. We love he's her. a great guy. He's also, we are so, almost like we're married in real life because we're just <laughs> to each other all the time. We, if I, you know, both of us are chatty and if I stop talking, he picks up and if he starts talking, I pick up and it's a constant conversation and we constantly are getting on each other's nerves in, in a lovable way and he's a fine, fine kisser. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed he is. Oh, isn't it nice to have a fine it kisser is. to work with? Oh, yes, it, it is. It means a lot. it's not so good when it's the other way oh, around. Not and that at all. can happen. I found him to be a fine kisser as well, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a good guy. And not only that, he is a very focused actor. He's easy. He's a great actor. You know, I, you know, I felt that way with Maurice, mm -hmm. and I feel equally that way with Rick, where it's just yeah. makes your job really easy. You guys do a lot of comedy, too. Well, you've had a lot of comedy over the year, too. You guys work well together doing comedy. You know, there's, what's it? It's funny. Yeah. I mean, especially, we laugh so much on that set. You all think you're watching it going, how can they do that? How can they say that? You should see us laughing about it and yeah, talking about it. It is hilarious. And also in life, it's funny. In the most tragic uh, of circumstances, you know, absurdity in everything. So I like funny. I, I think, you know, laughing is fun. And the audience deserves to be entertained, oh, for absolutely. heaven's sake. Yeah, no question. And such a loyal audience. What's the crazy?
craziest thing you've ever had to do in your nine years at GH? Well, I suppose dressing up as a male gay, gay butler would probably... Yeah, that, was pretty, that probably qualifies. That was, you know, it was, it was strange and tragic at the same time. Because, I, you know, it was a... I don't know how well that went over, but it was, you know, certainly unusual. I, you know what? I had a hard time telling it was you. That's how... No. Well, absolutely. When I first turned it on, I went, who is that? I don't get... I'm not sure. I could see that, but you could see that it wasn't. When you looked, you saw that that's not a guy. That's well, no, no, no. I knew it wasn't a guy, but I wasn't sure right. that who it was. <laughs> you know, Kate constantly talks. In fact, I, I did some show in Chicago. I was on the Tracy Butler show, and she just stood up. She goes, "My mother was a butler." So she's constantly. <laughs> she's talking about Dobson all the time to her friends, which is so. It kind of had some profound effect on her, which will reveal itself in therapy. I'm sure ten years. Yeah, from now. For now. Uh, years yeah. from now. <laughs> but we're gonna take a quick break. When we come back, we got more with Nancy Lee Grant. <laughs> Away. Coming up next, Nancy reveals why she keeps embarrassing her daughter. What are you doing? she's going to do it or not, you know, and it was, it came down to a discussion. And then Stephen Kay, the guy that plays Reginald, he is a good friend of mine who I think is so cute, by the way. But anyway, he's, he calls me, you know, we talk to each other during when Kelly's on because we like watching. And at first we thought, oh my God, you know, would you take a large sum of money to humiliate yourself? And I'm thinking, why, yes, I would. Yeah. And I love that. Nancy Lee Gron on Dancing with the Stars. I, I just love well, the sound of that. Lisa was talked to about it, and we thought we could dance together. I said, if you do it, Nancy, I'll do it, and then we'll dance together. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> the ladies who samba. I was just it's scared hard. of it. Harsh it's on funny. Kelly, though. They were a little Ridiculously harsh on Kelly. Ridiculously harsh. First of all, Why she's, so she's harsh, working she's really doing. hard. She's yeah. working three hours a day, and she's not a professional dancer. That yeah. is the whole point. Of course. And why be so nasty? Yeah, that I was just that. plain. You've got to fill the room. Fill the room. What it did was create sympathy, so she's still on. And uh, she's doing great. You. I'm seeing her dance. Yeah, I think she's, she's looking, doing a great she's job. She's looking great. My yeah. dad used to teach ballroom dancing to the neighbors in the basement. Oh, because you know, your parents are both choreographers? Well, for community theater. Oh, okay. there you go. There's right. your backstory. So, right, it's a back, we have a backstory and everything. So I thought, yes, I will humiliate myself on television. And I like to ballroom dance. We and do I it on a daily basis for, out, for no money, so we might yeah, as well do right. it. Yeah, that's right. Fun. <laughs> yes. Well, might as well. Save me all money for it. <laughs> so what were you like as a child? Were you? Because oh, yeah. you're very outspoken as an adult. You're very, very active and very outspoken. Were you like that as a child? or? Yeah, so. always. My mother reminds me how when I was 11 years old that, you know, we were just sort of discussing life. And I said, why does a woman have to take a man's last name when they get married? Wow. I find that unfair. Yeah. And so, and my mother looked at me and said, I worry for you. <laughs> that explains why I'm still single. But no, it doesn't. But I mean, I had thoughts like that. I was, you know, I, if things weren't fair, if somebody wasn't being treated fairly at school, or if someone was being picked on, I, you know, would speak up. You would up. organize the troops. I would. I was organizing yeah. a lot. Yeah. You were I was a bit of an activist. Yeah. Is your daughter a lot like you? My daughter said to me the other day, she calls me in the room, and this, and I'm, I'm thinking, oh my God, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Mm -hmm. And my mother, oh, look at her. Oh, oh she's so pretty at the Emmys. There you are at the Emmys. She's the prettiest thing. Look at her. But she said, why, you know, we played cards, we were playing cards, we went to Barbados, so we were on the plane, you know, playing cards a lot. And she just, she says, Mom, come here, I want to talk to you. And I thought, uh oh. She said, you know, in a deck of cards, why is the king worth more than the queen? I don't think that's fair. <gasps> oh, and so my I went, oh, God. It's starting already. <laughs> And she's only seven, so... Whoa. Uh-oh. She's starting four years she's earlier than you. She's starting four years earlier. <laughs> I hear you're um, helping her out at school a little bit. Oh, from time well, to time. Yeah, I'm there. I, Campbell Hall, by the way, may I plug that you school? Sure. Plug the your school. The finest school I have Isn't ever imagined in my life. Really? She was lucky enough to... to, to, to 
get involved in that school, which is walking distance. It is the most beautiful school. I, I, I just couldn't have imagined a better school Isn't for her. Great? And I love it. And the teachers and Principal Phelps, I love him. Anyway, so we, I'm there a lot. I love being there. And her first grade teacher is a huge General Hospital fan. So I, I, I have to, I'm surprising her by bringing Maurice with me. So she'll fail. Oh, wow. And Kate will get an A. There was something else that I read about you that, that I was a little surprised at first, but you were a head cheerleader when you were a kid. <laughs> and I, I said, Nancy LeBron, head cheerleader. Yeah. I did not know that. Well, uh, oh, yeah, here you we go. Some... Shout out, it's V for Viking victory. When North High is out to fight, we see the Viking spirit <laughs> rising high for the purple and white. Shout you, Rafi, to North High Norsemen, fight for North High is out to win. To victory, you Vikings go, go, win four miles to flex jump. But I yeah. Cheers. I can't get my body off the ground now for the gravity, but that's it's amazing. I'm very uh, that, I Now, ask me the last time I did that. It was probably 30 years ago. No, I'm not that That's old. something right there. Yes, I am. Yeah, yeah. The only cheer I've ever remembered from high school is the U-G-L-Y, you ain't got no alibi, you ugly. <laughs> you ugly. You ugly. You guys know that cheer, right? I know that one. Yes. Oh, my Nancy, God. thank you so, so much nice. for joining us. Oh, and you have a children's book coming out. I'm sorry, I have a children's book, please. I'm please. working on a children's book in six months, it'll be. Great. Six months, children's books will be released. Great. Okay. Thanks for joining us. Bye, you all.